All right, when I start about saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Kohala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom to elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. Ba Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, this is able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, and other speckled word looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom, we will discontinue from our heritage because we went off by following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such and commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach being that perfect sacrifice to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to elect the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the scriptures, and they would be able to uh, repent and turn back to the Lord. And Adawan Ratazza were able to be saved, okay, saved from the coming destruction, the famine, the pestilence, the evils, okay, the, um, the perilous times. Okay, through Yahaba Shema Shai sending forth this wisdom, okay, we're able to have what comfort, comfort in the scriptures, okay, and comfort in what um you know the 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 ways of Yahaba Shema Shai, things that are pleasing unto the Lord. Okay. Let me start right here. This is uh Sirach 1 and 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Both which are the gifts of the Most High, and enlarge their rejoicing that love Him. Yeah, enlarge their rejoicing that love Him. Okay, and the ones that love Him are what buying into the ways of Yahabah Shemarashai, and what departing from the ways of um, the ways of this world. Okay, when you read uh, Proverbs four and eighteen, okay, it speaks about departing from the ways of this world. Okay, why? Because the ways of this world are nothing but mischief and discord. Um, you know, towards the Lord, okay? Nothing but iniquity, and those sins have reached the heavens, and now the Lord's beginning to judge this place, okay? Just because uh, it speaks about in the scriptures, you know, sentence is not, you know, uh, you know, prolonged, you know, meaning that it, it doesn't happen, you know, right then and there. People think that they can just uh, keep committing offenses, okay? But now those offenses are, are being stacked up, and the Lord's beginning to judge. But also those that are stacking up riches as far as those spiritual riches, prayers, and, and doing the works, those, um, you know, fruit, meat for repentance that the Lord gives us are, are nothing but gifts, okay? And also what the instruction to what depart from this world, okay? Because the true riches are actually of Yahweh Basham Roshai. Proverbs 4 and 18, uh, suck it, Proverbs 4 and 5, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Yeah, because the words that the Lord is truly speaking is what? Through the prophets, okay? The Lord touches the prophet's mouth or the apostle's mouth to what? To be able to speak, Okay, and the, the flock would come into the fold and the belief of Yahab Bashim Mashai through those words they would be able to be healed and purified. Okay, forsake her not. Okay, and she shall and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. So that she is speaking about wisdom. Okay. W wisdom is referred to as she or her, uh, because you know, a woman in the world, you'll do anything for her. And once you understand what wisdom is. Um, you'll want to do anything for what wisdom because you realize that can be able to give you stability in the time of what uh, great destruction in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, so we're not supposed to forsake or not, but you see men that are doing that where they had some uh, where they had teachers, okay, pastors of the Lord's own heart. But what do they do? They they reject the elders, they reject the teachings that could at once could be able to heal them. Now they have no cloak for their sins. Okay, Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Yes, yeah, so the principle is, is the beginning of things, okay, the things that you need, okay? And what we see in the world is that Esau, Edom, he's trying to cut off those certain resources like food, water, shelter, okay, and, and bring forth his own, or you know, his own GMO, um, you know, philosophies, okay, that are going to be destroyed as far as, you know, anything that's not of the Lord is going to be what carried headlong. Okay, meaning going to fall flat on their face, right? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom when all that get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor 
when thou doest embrace her. Yeah, so the prize of wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her, she will honor you. Okay, and really what the Lord is doing is making making you uh, great with what wisdom. Okay, so you can be able to uh, be that spectacle for the Lord. So you can be able to have your face to shine upon other men. You know, far as uh, the men see the presence of Yahweh Shemashai upon you. Okay, through what? Via the scriptures. Okay, so we're supposed to embrace wisdom. Okay, and embrace uh, the teaching of Yahweh Shemashai, even if this world what hates the Lord. Okay, because what is the Lord really doing? He's testifying of the works thereof or evil. Okay, through what the prophets what speaking about the, the, the wicked things in the world and they're able to what filter it through the scriptures. Okay, Proverbs 4 and 9, she shall give thy herd an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She shall deliver thee. Yes, yeah, so we're under a grace period. Does that mean we just do whatever we want? No, you can't just teach whatever you want. Okay, because the hopeful elect or the elect are going to have what a uh, sound doctrine. So you can't just teach whatever you want and the Lord will forgive you. Okay, uh, Matthews 5 and 48, be ye there perfect as my father in heaven is perfect. Okay, and the Lord will what in the in the, um, the time of grace period, which we're under right now. Okay, in the time of Jacob's trouble, the Lord will have mercy on us because the things that we speak are what pleasing unto the Lord. Okay, um, skipping down a little bit. It says 13, take fat, it says take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Yeah, enter not in the path of the wicked. Go not the way of an evil men. Avoid it and pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Yeah, so let's read this in the NLT. It says, don't do as the wicked do and don't follow the path of the evil doers. So when you see uh, camps that are bugging out and they don't accept the reproof and the rebuke, you're not supposed to be, uh, you know, having unity camps with them. Okay? We're not supposed to be... Uh, the Lord spoke about um, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers, okay? And if they don't believe in the doctrine of Yahweh Shemashai, then they actually don't believe at all. They're actually well, hypocrites going into them being godless because you have to believe in the whole doctrine. And that's the gift from Yahweh Shemashai that, that gives us what the health to be able to flourish, um, you know, in uh, Babylon the Great, okay? Proverbs 4 and 14. It's in the NLT. Don't do as the wicked do and don't follow the path of the evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. Yeah. So, again, when someone's talking about Most High, Christ bless and Yahshua and not to worship Yahweh Shai, okay, those things, you got to keep moving. You got to get away from those guys because what is going to happen is they're going to keep uh, uh, waxing colder and colder. They're not going to stop in their ways, okay, unless they're of the elect, okay. But what, what you're seeing is constant. Um, constant disobedience towards what the scriptures okay which is ultimately all eyes are going to see the judgment upon those that uh first peter 4 and 17 those that are of israel those that know their um israelites okay proverbs 4 and 16 for evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for those day they can't rest until they cause someone to stumble they eat the food of wickedness and drink the wine of violence okay Going back to the King James Version, but the path of the just, which would be the elect, is as a shining light that shineth more and more into that perfect day. Okay, so more and more the, the prophecies uh, come forward, the more and more our light is actually shining. Okay, our countenance is actually shining upon with the Lord. Okay, when, when you see that word face, okay, where the Lord is shining his face upon us, he's showing what his presence. When you read Numbers uh, 6 and 24, okay, he's actually showing his presence upon you. Okay, and that's... Um, you know, uh, when you read uh, in the Apocrypha, it speaks about though I've not seen the Lord with bodily eyes. OK, I believe in what the, the what the men are speaking about. OK, so Ecclesiastes eight and one. And in that the Lord changes your, um, you know, the you know, the way that you are in the world. OK, through, you know, you beginning to, to your actions, you begin to what uh, please the Lord through what your actions rehearse. Judges five and eleven rehearsing the righteous acts. OK. One, uh, Ecclesiastes eight and one. Who as who is as a wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh face to shine. Okay, and the boldness of his face to, shall be changed. So the boldness of his face shall be changed. Ultimately, going into the Lord, changing the uh, the elect and what a twinkling of an eye. Okay, to have that light shining. Okay, face to shine. Yeah, the presence of the countenance of brothers is being uh, shown. Okay, throughout the four corners of the earth, who's truly of the Lord and who's not. Okay, as far as the things that they would be speaking at, not, not about their outward appearance. Okay, but far as what they're actually speaking about 
okay and you begin to get the uh, glow you see it on you see it on brothers that glow okay and that's of what Yahaba Shimei Washai, right? So, um, yeah, faith shall be changed, okay? Skipping down to 4, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. For where the word of a king is, there is power, and who may say unto him, what doest thou? So the word of a king, who's who's the word? Yahweh Shai, okay? What's the, who's been put in power? Yahweh Shai, he's the king of king, lord of hosts, okay? And we're supposed to respect the word because the word is actually of the heavenly father, of, Yah of Yahweh. Okay, let's read this in the NLT, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. His command is backed by great power. Okay, who, whose power, who's that power? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, he sent his only begotten son, what Yahweh Shai, okay, the comforter, to be able to give us comfort in these times. Okay, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. His command is backed by a great power. No one can resist or question it. Yeah, no one can resist or question it. It speaks about... Um, your adversaries, you know, won't be able to gainsay nor resist, okay? Because it is backed by what a great power, which is the heavenly Father, um, Yahweh, backing what Yahweh Shai and pushing the doctrine, uh, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth through what His meant, okay? And those that would hear the message, they would be, they would believe in the message. They would believe that Yahweh Shai was sent by the heavenly Father, um, Yahweh, okay? It says. Um, Let's get this. This is John 14 and John 14 and 10. Yeah, John 14 and 10. Believest thou not I am he? It says I am Saki. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but of the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am. I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth in me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than shall he do, because I go unto thy Father. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai uh, came, in the, um, came in the flesh, you know, uh, John 1 and 14. So the word was made flesh, and now what Yahweh Shai is on the right-hand side because of his... Uh, sacrifice and because of the works that he did for the heavenly father Yahweh and Yahweh accepted it and now Yahweh Shai is on the right hand side and the only way we can be able to get that victory is through Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is our intercessor okay it says uh, John 14 and 13 whatsoever you shall ask in my name that I will do thy father may be glorified in thy son if I ask in anything in my name I will do it if you love me, keep my commandments. I will pray that the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but he know him for he that dwell with, with you shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while in the world and see it no more. But you see me because I live, but I live, you shall live also. At that day shall you know that I am the Father shall know that that I am I am in my father and ye in me and I in you. Yeah, going into what the um the temple. Okay, Yahweh Shai when when he was uh crucified, you had what the, the the cherubims at the top of his head and the bottom of his head that's showing what the temple of the Lord, okay, that um um you know the again the Alpha and Omega. Okay, and we are part of that temple far as the body of what Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let me get one more scripture. This is Matthew. Um, this is uh, Matthew 28. <clears throat> Just to show you the Heavenly Father gave Yahweh the power. Psalms 2 also speaks about it. This is uh, Matthew 28 and 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So the Lord's always with us, always. Okay. And he's been given all power by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is in the image of the Heavenly Father. Okay. This is um, just a quick, quick scripture. This is Psalms 2 and about 7. Okay, just to show you that the power that the Lord's been given. 
uh, you know, the power that uh, Yahweh Shai has been given by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay, this is Psalms 2 and 7. I will declare the decree that the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I begotten thee. Ask of me, Saki, um, let me go up to 6. Psalms 2 and 6, yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree, the law, the Lord, yeah, the Lord has said unto me, thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Okay, ask of me and I will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Okay, and that's actually what's going on right now. Okay, far as uh, uh, spiritually, spiritually, you know, Hosea 6 and 5. Uh, these devils are being cut to pieces. Okay. So going back to this, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4 in the NLT. His command is backed by a great power. No one can resist or question it. Okay. Yeah, because the story's already been written from the beginning. Okay. And just to uh, back up that scripture, um, Isaiah 44 and 3. For I will pour water upon that is thirsty, yeah, the truth, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon the seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. And thou shalt spring up among the grass as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another, wait, sock it. That's beautiful, but that's not the, let me see. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Isaiah 44 and 6. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, thy king of Israel, his redeemer, thy Lord Yahweh of hosts. Host means uh, armies. I am the first, I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who as I shall, it says, and who as I shall call and shall declare it and set an order for me, since I appointed the ancient people. Okay, who would that be? The Heavenly Father is what the ancient of days. Okay, and who were back with the with, with Yahweh Shai in the beginning? Okay, the Alahayim, which means powers. Okay, which are what would be the first church, which is the same thing that's going on right now is the Lord's calling upon his men, the first church to what preach this word in truth and sincerity, which will be the 144,000, the elect. I appointed the ancient people and and the things that are coming shall come. Let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not. I told thee from thy time I have declared it. Yet even my witnesses is their power beside me. Yeah, there is no uh, power. I know not any. OK, there is no power what besides the Lord. OK, and there's no other uh, power that you can be able to go to. OK. Isaiah 46 and 10. OK, it says declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times. Yeah, the heavenly father. OK, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand. I will do all my pleasure. And who's the Lord's counsel? OK, you Hebrew Israelites. OK, but we got to start, um, you know, but our people are not acting that way. Only the hopeful elect are acting that way. Okay? Far as in their actions. Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. It says, Those who obey him will not be punished. Okay? The hopeful elect. Those who are wise will find a time and way to do what is right. Yeah, so this is the time right now. Take heed. Okay? Um, gird up your loins like a man and what? Uh, repent now. Okay? Yeah, and the wise goes in to be able to see. You're able to see the vision and the judgment. Okay? And to be and to move with fear uh, of the Lord. Ecclesiastes 8 and 6. For there is a time and a way for everything, even when a person is in trouble. OK, indeed, how can people avoid what they don't know is going to happen? None of us can hold back our spirit from departing. None of us has the power to prevent the day of our death. There is no escaping the obligation, the dark battle in the face of death. Wickedness will certainly not rescue the sake. Wickedness will certainly not rescue the wicked. That's right, because these devils are going to be judged by the law, even though they haven't been given the law. OK, because the, because the Lord's raising up his judges of the earth okay, to be able to what stand upon their feet. Right. And that goes into what the health to be able to what flourish. Let's read this again. Ecclesiastes 6, 1 and 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom. OK, when you read, um, you know, Proverbs 11 and 10. OK, it speaks about the fear of the Lord. Okay, and what you see is certain men that are not moving with fear. Okay, you have men that you know either don't want to do the work or they're doing the work, you know, um, not in truth and sincerity, which means that their sacrifices are not being uh, held up. You know, you have men that are not calling upon the correct names. Okay, and you have men that are what not calling upon. Yahabba um, Shimashai in the correct name. Okay, which is very important. Showing you that they don't fear the Lord because they know the name. The name has been taught to them. But what do they do? They they um, revert it. You know, they um, 
you know, went, they departed from us, right? Because they, ne they never were of us, going into John 10. Psalms 111 and 10, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all that do his commandments, his praise endure forever. So what's the commandments? Eat the whole roll and go out and teach. Okay. And what, uh, you know, studying the well, you know, studying uh, and giving diligence to make that call and election short. Okay. Holding upon with that crown of wisdom. When you read Revelation 3 and 10 down to 11, it speaks about holding on to that crown. Okay. Which is this wisdom making, it says, um, Going back to Ecclesiastes, no, Sirach 1 and 18, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Yeah, so uh, even though we're in a society, okay, of, of constant, you know, death and, and, and darkness and evils, the Lord is having us flourish far as in our, our, our mental state, our mentally, mentally and spiritually being strong, okay? Both which are the gifts of the Most High. That's right, Ephesians 2 and 8. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 speaks about the gifts. They're they're not from us. They're from up above. Okay. That's what John 3 and 27. No man can receive, you know, this wisdom, you know, lest it be given from the, you know, up above. Okay. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18 in the middle. It says, and in a large, they're rejoicing that love him. Yeah. And large, they're rejoicing. So more and more that we see um, the prophecies being fulfilled, the more and more we get hope. Okay, more and more faith, showing you that our Lord Yahweh Shai is what faithful and true. Okay, and this comes from again up up above. Okay, I want to get a scripture. This is Ecclesiastes sixteen. Let's see, it's been a while. Let's get it back a bit. Yeah, so. Let's see. Yeah, right here. Ecclesiastes 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Okay, so anything that you have, whether you have this wisdom or you don't have this wisdom, okay, whether you're poor on the streets or whether you're rich, okay, the Lord does that. Okay, prosperity, you know, being able to thrive in the society, but we want to thrive in, in doing the works of Yahabah Shemel Shat. While the rest of the world, they want to thrive, you know, trying to be someone in the society, and that's going to lead to their adversity. That's going to lead ultimately to their death while the Lord has his men in what life? You know, John 6 and 63, quicken with the Holy Spirit. Okay, poverty and riches. Okay, come of the Lord, you have a shy. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of the good works are from him. Error and darkness had their beginning together with sinners and even shall wax old with them that glory therein. Okay, the gift of... Of the Lord remaineth with the godly, yeah, the hopeful elect, his favor bringeth prosperity forever. There is that wax rich by weariness and pinching. This is the portion of the reward. Okay, so ultimately, the Lord controls whether you have prosperity or have adversity, whether you have this understanding or you don't. Okay, it's truly a gift, and that's why we have to be thankful and grateful that, that this Lord has given us this great uh, treasure. Okay. Ecclesiastes 8 and 19, wisdom rain down, skill and knowledge and understanding and exalt them to honor that hold her fast. And who's holding the Lord's word fast? Okay, the hopeful elect. Okay, the wisdom rain it down because the, 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 the rain is the water, which is the truth rain down from what heaven. Okay, skill, skill in what the scriptures, being able to understand the scriptures and the knowledge of the scriptures, uh, you know, even, um, you know, uh, history, the history of certain certain things you can be able to bring certain points of the scriptures to be able to make it clear okay because there's a in the bible there's a lot of secular history okay ecclesiastics 1 and 20 the root of wisdom is to fear the lord and the branches thereof are long life yeah the branches thereof are long life the fear of the lord driveth away sins and where it is present it turn away wrath yeah that's right okay and we're trying to have that wrath turned away from us okay but the only way is is what seeking the lord um you know, while he may be found. Okay. Ecclesiastes 1 and 21. It says, The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Yeah, fearing the Lord. And where it is present, it turn away wrath. Yeah, where it is present, what turn away the wrath, meaning that the uh, the presence of the Lord is going to put up that shield, that horn, that refuge. Okay. 
So let's go to this. This is uh, Psalms 5 and 11. But let all those who put their trust in thee shall rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. And that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Yahweh, will the bless the righteous with favor where thou can pass him with the shield. Okay, let's read this in LT. For you bless the godly. Yeah, the Lord blesses the godly. Those that are doing things that are pleasing unto the Lord. Okay. Oh, Lord, you surround them with your shield of love. And what are we surrounded by? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And in that Psalms 34 and 7, the angels are encamped around those that fear the Lord. Okay. And I'll end it in this chapter. This is Psalms 1 and 1. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and his law do he meditate day and night. So does that mean that you know, we're, we're the law, the law, the law. No. I mean, let me say it correctly, okay? We don't make void the law, okay? He speaks about that in Romans, okay? But we know that there's certain things that we, that, that um, we're in captivity. So we're going to be, you know, you know, certain things far as instance, the, the clothing, okay? You're not going to have one material clothing. That's part of the, one of the laws, okay? So, but in law, uh, keeping far as the law sets your commandments, the scriptures, Matthew 5 and 48, be ye there perfect as my father in heaven is imperfect, perfect in the scriptures. Okay. Meditating on rehearsing the righteous acts and actually, you know, putting them in whatever that we're uh, lacking in, asking the Lord to be able to strengthen us in that time. Okay. Psalms 2, Psalms 1 and 2, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh and his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaves shall also not wither whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So that tree is a metaphor for what the people, okay? A tree planted by the rivers. Yeah, the water is what, um, that, that's, that um, is the truth, okay? He that believeth in me shall flow rivers of living water. The fruit going into the reward um, that's going to be coming for the, for the hopeful elect. His leaves shall not, shall not wither going into the, you're going to have prosperity. Okay, it says, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. So whatsoever we do, the Lord's asking for what, um, you know, the Lord's asking for what um, loyalty, okay, far as in the things that you speak, right? And and um, and we're asking for what salvation through what the understanding of the scriptures, right? Psalms one and four, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff, which the wind driveth away. So chaff is what worthless things that are going to be destroyed. Okay, like Babylon the Great, America, and also what uh, two thirds of our people, they're going to get caught up in the lake of fire, which is those ICBM missiles firing down on, on Babylon the Great. OK, and also what our enemies, OK, are going to be caught up in that chaff. Psalms one and five. Therefore, the ungodly shall not. It says, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. OK, it's going to be separated. The righteous with the righteous and the wicked with the wicked. And what's going to be that cleansing agent, that fire that's going to be upon those, the two thirds, okay? And what the word being, what the washing of the water of the word, you know, being able to be beamed up, okay? Let's read this in the NLT, Psalms 1 and 5. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Yeah, judge. Sinners will have no place among the godly. Again, going into the Lord spoke about in Matthew that he would, what, separate from the uh, the wheat from the tares, okay? Also the, the, the godly from the ungodly. Right, roughly paraphrasing those scriptures. Psalms one and six, for Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh knoweth the way of righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So the way of the ungodly is actually going to perish, while the while the the hopeful elect are going to be able to what prosper, do what the health and the nourishment that the Lord has given us. Okay, going back to this, Ecclesiastes one and eighteen. All right, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Both which are the gifts of the Most High, and it enlarge the rejoicing that love Him. Yeah, the Lord enlarges, okay, the love that you have towards Him through, um, through the works that He gives you to do. Okay, so with that, call Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakakwada Shalom to the Let Kwam Neshalom.